guys I'm going to show you what a, my setup is below these spillways that are very swift and have lots of rip wrap what I first do is I put load them with 50 pound braid I then put a barrel swivel with a 50 pound mono leader usually like them to be 12 to 24 inches the reason I'm using a mono leader is two reasons braid is very un it's not very abrasion resistance when it's banging against rocks it gets cut up real easy and the second reason is there's lots of toothy critters in here namely the three kinds of gar that are in here that will cut that braid like it's nothing so that mono prevents it from getting cut up on the rock so easy and prevents the gar from cutting it with their teeth now at the end of that leader I put another swivel and the and the reason is that two reasons on this also that provides an extra inch and a half two inches in length that the fish cannot touch that mono with their teeth and because I can change that crank bait, crank bait out easy if I want to switch it if it's unproductive and I want to switch my lure I can do that without having to retie this thing and shorten it what I, what I like to use on the below these dams is very deep diving crankbaits with very strong hooks. That is the, the important thing. Now, the depth is important, but it is not real important. The major importance factor in these crankbaits is them cutting through the swift current. You want it to, to cut through that current really fast. And what I do when that crankbait hits the water is I jerk that thing down. I, I crank it about six cranks as hard as I can real fast to get that down in the strike zone in that four to eight foot range and then I slow it down but you want the important thing is is strong sturdy hooks because these fish are big in here the big buffalo and big gar and they will destroy a regular crankbait in a heartbeat and that's basically it guys also when you use another reason to have a real heavy mono leader is when you do get hung up you pull hard enough it tends to get undone four times out of five so I'd say about 80% of the time you're gonna get that lure back and that is all there is to it that's my favorite way to fish a spillway guys she's already down there I'm gonna use the restroom and then I'm gonna head down myself I'm gonna be trying for Buffalo and Gar again everywhere else is flooded it has been raining for three days straight and by some miracle this place is still fishable it's still low and it's still clear so stay tuned, I'll turn back on when I get down there. All right guys, the water has came up about two or three foot since we was here last time. But what that does when this water is very low and then it raises like this, is it washes all the nasty stuff off the rocks that has been accumulating. And that attracts the buffalo up here. Plankton, snail larva, whatever has died on the rocks from it going down, it then gets washed off the rocks, all the nasty stuff and then fish will be real close to the side generally speaking so it can make for us uh, some good fishing i'm not having a good day now i just lost a lure and then i realized i left my swivels at home both the barrel swivels and regular swivels so now i can't make a leader or have a swivel left it on left it in the bedroom so this ain't good. Now things are just going downhill slowly. So now they got a chance of cutting through my line. Not cool. He's like, yeah, right. See, I'm worried he's gonna get me in that snag right there. There's a bunch of line wrapped around that too. You're gonna have to get him from the back. That's the only way. You gotta get him from the butt. Oh man! Oh, God. Please stay on there. Oh my God, he's going nuts again. Wow. 
what I'm going to do, if I get this fish in, I'm going to take a, a minute, one minute video so I can get good pictures and then we're going straight to the bait shop because we don't want to go there too late. He's too big. He's too big. I'm going to have to grab him by the hands. Okay, what I want you to do. I have no choice. I need you to come grab the pole. Now, don't put your hand around that line, though, in case he runs. Like that. Cover the eye. I am. Cover the eye. I'm trying. Get ready for me to run back as hard as you can. <sighs> Alright guys, we're going to measure this fish. The current record is 34 and a half inches and 6 pounds and something. 47 inches. That has to be a long nose. No, it's not. It's a spotted. It's a spotted. It's a spotted gar. We just shattered the state record by 10 inches. He's 45 inches. Unless it's a weird hybrid or something. 47 inches, guys. The current record is only 34 and a half. Oh my God. Okay, put this away and get me the pliers. Regular pliers. Gotta get this crankbait off. Then we're going to the bait shop. Go ahead and Get me the regular needle on those pliers. Oh my God. It's wrapped several times. I may have to cut. I may just have to cut it. What do you want? Guys, we have some, I absolutely shattered the state record by 11 inches. I'm gonna go get him certified right now. We're leaving even though we're doing good. I don't want this oh. thing set long. I gotta go get this to a certified scale right up the street and have a conservation agent come over to make sure that is what it is, it's a spotted gar, but that's what it looks like. It has spots on it. 40, all right guys, 47 inches spotted gar. I just shattered my own record by nine inches. It was 38 before, or no, that was her, hers was 36. I just beat hers by 11 inches. Are you sure that's all spotted? Um, it's got the brown circles on the bill. <sighs> I can take a picture with my phone and make sure to send it to Tyler. The body looks like it too. Yeah. It's got the spots on it. Mm -hmm. They both have the black circles on the tails. Guys, I jumped the gun on that fish. It was not a spotted gar. Where it threw me off was it had black circles on its beak all the way down to its eye it had perfect black circles but that i called a identification expert on that and uh they said that is common they're just not as noticeable on a long nose the problem with a long nose versus the spotted is they both have yellow tails with black circles on them both their sets of fins have black circles on them and once in a while they'll look almost the same for a few minutes but what happened there the dead giveaway was the bill is way longer on a long nose than it is on a spotted gar so i put him back we didn't bother taking him to get it certified because it was not a spotted gar however it still was a decent fish it was a 47 inch long nose gar so i just got a little excited there and at least i paid attention and caught it before it was too late uh, to realize it wasn't a spotted gar and didn't take it and look like an idiot bringing the wrong kind of fish but either way still had a good day now it was a good fish and uh what a hell of a fight i'm lucky i got him with no leader because of me leaving my swivels at home like an idiot i am just fishing with straight braid now so that's really lowered my chances but if i got a 47 inch gar on 50 pound braid i uh, should be pretty good i would think Okay, you can let go. 
All right, guys, I got a smallmouth buffalo or a black buffalo. It's smallmouth. No, wait a minute. Yeah, I've never caught one of these on a crankbait. I do not believe. Crankbaits in the net again, of course. Crankbaits and nets do not mix, people. They do not mix. <clears throat> well, they're biting good today. It's the full moon. They're just going absolutely nuts. He bit right by the bank. <sighs> not a bad one. Okay. All right, guys, this smallmouth buffalo is about five pounds. All right, at five pounds even. You may have to back up. All right, guys, second fish of the day. Now it's time to start fishing. I wasted 30 minutes on that gar, so let's get him back in. I got fish to catch. Yeah. We're trying this full moon bite. Oh yeah, buffalo I think. I think. It's sure fighting like one. I got something pretty decent here guys. Oh yeah, nice fish, whatever this is. He ain't even starting to fight yet either. Oh man, I believe it's a buffalo but I could be wrong. It ain't acting like a gar, at least not yet. Oh man! Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Boy, what a fighter. This may be a 10 pounder. But I've been fooled before. What do I got? I think it's a buffalo. Yeah, buffalo. Another smallmouth. Weird. Another smallmouth buffalo, guys, on a crankbait. Fair hook. This is odd. That's two times in one day, and I had never done it before until this day. I always catch big mouths. I could be wrong. Let me look at his mouth. Nope, that is a big mouth. Sorry. Yes, it is. That's a. It's a big mouth buffalo. About five pounds again. <sighs> Not a bad one. He may go six or seven even. Yeah, I think he, yeah, he's about seven. Yep, big mouth. Yep, big mouth for sure. Right. Not a bad buffalo here, guys. He's easily seven or eight pounds. A lot bigger than I thought at first. Yeah, he's at least seven. Yeah, he's seven. Right at seven pounds. Pretty decent buffalo. Not bad. All right, that's three fish. They're biting fairly well today, guys. Love the full moon. Gotta love it. About seven pounds.
man. Oh, big. Real big. Oh, man. I think it's a buffalo, not a gar. But I could be wrong. It's big, whatever it is. My God. Mm. Real big fish here, guys. This has got to be bigger than seven pounds. I can tell you that right now. Definitely a buffalo. Staying down. It's bigger than seven pounds, I have a feeling. Pretty decent. Could be a drum too though. It's either a buffalo or a drum. It's taking me a while to get it in. My God, whoa, oh my goodness, whoa. He, oh my God. Just when I thought he was kind of getting tired, now he's going way down, running all the drag out. Look at that, he's gonna run all my line out. Oh my God. <clears throat> this could be one of them Asian carp too. You never know. He's all the way on the bank, don't cast. Buffalo? At least I got him in the calm water. It looks like a black buffalo by the fin. The dip net's way up there now too because I ran down. If I wouldn't have ran down, he was going to run all my line out. That looks like a blue sucker almost. You never know, it could be a blue sucker. Oh, I got him hooked in the tail. That's why it wasn't that big, but that's why he fought so hard. All right, guys, I got a tail hooked fish here. Crankbait is right in the tail. he would probably get off before I can get him. It's barely on there. That's why he ain't getting tired at all. I'll be lucky to get this fish. Because he ain't even started fighting yet then. See, he just, he's now starting to fight. That explained it all. He wasn't, see, he felt 20 pounds, but he's only probably 10. Because of that tail hook there. So it's a foul hooked buffalo. All right, well, hopefully we can get it before it gets off. It's a good chance he's going to get off. Now him you want from the front. That's why he fought so dang hard. I thought I had a 30 pound fish. I really did. He's barely hooked. We're lucky to get him. Looks like a drum. Oh man, that's a big one though. Oh my God. Oh, he is, he's bigger than I thought. He's about 15 pounds. He's big. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, let me get the crankbait out first. Oh, he's easily 15 pounds. Yeah, he's 15. If it was, if I thought it was 20, I'd weigh it. But... It's my big, my biggest big, big mouth in a long time though. Biggest one I've caught in a long time for this kind. Definitely. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's a hoss. Maybe it's a 15. He's about 15. The big buffalo guy is about 15 pounder. Nice catch. You yep. talk about putting up a fight. He about ran my line all the way down to the knot because I was had him in the tail, that's why. That's why he, 
but he was I did, still didn't think he was that big after I had him in the tail but he turned out to be really big anyway but he fought that much harder having him in the tail okay, okay guys I'm gonna it. get him back in before he decides to go ape crap on me okay go ahead. So you guys the crankbait I'm using today it is I can't think of the name of the brand but it's the uh, brand that Academy actually owns and that's why I get them is because they're real reasonable. They're only five dollars or four something, four seventy, and it looks just like a shad. Has that black speck on there, and it has a purple top. I can usually think of the name, but I like them because the hooks are really thick and durable. They ha they withstand a lot of beating against the rock. I usually don't like them off brands, but this one I do like because the price is real reasonable and they go about the perfect depth, which is about six feet and they cut through that current. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they cut through that current. Oh, I just met, oh, there he is. He got off and then he got back on. Oh my God, he got off for a second. It's another big buffalo, I think. Yep. Oh, he got me hung. No, nope, no he didn't. Oh my God, this fish is big. He did, he got me hung now. I gotta let him get me out. He's hung. There we go. Oh, he's still hung on something. Maybe not. Yeah, he's got me hung in something. He's still pulling on it though. I gotta let him try to get out of the snag. Oh, I just seen his tail. He's got me wrapped in that damn tree. He's got, I'm probably not gonna get it. He's hung. Yeah, hung up. I don't even feel him pulling no more. How oh, did he get me out, please? I don't think he did. There he got me out, I think. There he got out. He got me out. He got unhung. Big buffalo again, 10 pounds or bigger. Right at 10. I'm lucky I got him. He had me hung up in a tree, guys, for about two minutes. And I just didn't give up. I let him get out of it. Another big mouth, about nine or 10. Boy, he's barely on there. Oh. Got it. About 12, 13 again. All right, guys, another big mouth, about the same as last time, maybe about two pounds less. Still a big one. It's pretty decent. All right, I'm gonna get pliers. Oh, 
yeah. Check it out, guys. About 13, 14 pounds. At least 12, something like that in that range. 12 to 14. Nice buffalo. Good evening, guys. Little, really little. No, it ain't. It's pretty decent, actually. It felt little, but he's about five or six pounds. Has another big mouth, about six or seven pounds. You calm down, buddy. All right, guys, another big mouth buffalo. I'm gonna say he's about six pounds, about six. Not bad. Right, let's get him back in. Our session caught one gar 47 inches and four buffalo which was three big mouth one small mouth a six pounder a seven pounder a 13 and a 15 so it wasn't too bad for what time we had only really fished about two good hours I just I can't resist staying home on a full moon it's always usually a good bite on a full moon if I would have just had more time, I could have caught a lot more fish. Should have got here a lot earlier. It just flew by. Until next time, guys, hit that like button and please subscribe.